So as an independent musician, I've been really blessed with the opportunity to travel the country and open up for nationally acclaimed artists, be able to spread my music, and be able to do things that at some point in my journey I didn't believe was possible. Releasing music and having people connect to my sounds and my story has been something that has inspired me and motivated me as an entrepreneur to found my multimedia company, Manifest, in which we give artists and entrepreneurs opportunities and spotlights to get on stage and have creative platforms to express themselves. That is a deep passion of mine. Through my journey as an independent artist, support has been utterly crucial in getting me here. The support of Leading Families Home got me here. The support of my community keeps me going in my journey as a musician. So moments like these when I'm able to connect with the community and give my story are truly meant excuse me, meaningful to me. It is very meaningful to me. As founder of my multimedia company, I'm a jack of all trades. I send off the emails, I book my own shows, um, I'm handling my digital marketing, my graphic design, my social media administration. Everything is in-house and it's independent, and that's what allows me the opportunities to keep doing what I'm doing and keep growing. What my belief in all of this is through manifest through my music is that through the right energy action and attention you can manifest your dreams you can do what you desire and bring forth your passions and your ideas to life and through my music career that is what i like to instill and showcase that that is possible my relationship with leading family home goes quite a while back in fact like was stated i was a former participant actually Growing up as a teenager and leading families home, you know, my perspective then was a lot different. You know, if you were to ask 14, 15 year old, 13 year old Lonnie what that experience, what that world was like, it sucked. You know, I couldn't be honest with you, there was no getting a girlfriend at the shelter, there was no, you know, telling people, there was no like, it was a lot of holding it to myself and being afraid of my truth. And through my music, I actually wrote some of my first songs in the backyard of the Erie location. So finding my self-expression, finding a way to tell my story was important. And leading families home, even though back then, I would have said, oh my God. Now, being able to look at that perspective and say I was granted shelter, food, support, and a direct alleyway and a gateway into receiving stability and getting on the trackway that I am today, I am eternally grateful for that experience and what I've undergone and the maturity that it allowed me as a man, allowed me to be able to come full circle and do what I can when I can. And I want that to be a, a little bit thing that rings true with us today, doing what we can when we can. And so as an independent artist, I've tried my best to do that. I've been able to give back through the charity proceeds of my concerts, being able to donate proceeds for my live ticket sales. Um, this past Christmas, we were to adopt two families through my multimedia company and be able to show a little love and give back in full circle. Because I think it's important to be able to like, like the seasons, like the suns and the rain and it comes back and it grows up, to be able to have those cycles of growth within our community, right? And so that's kind of like my story, kind of where I'm coming from. But I would like for those in this building to have a little bit more insight into what it's like to go through that experience because I understand not everyone understands what that is like. So for granted and you find that out on the journey of homelessness and so even though I may have lost certain things that is not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what I've gained and that's a perspective that I'm able to offer you today. Now I'm sure everyone here has lost their keys before. Lost the keys to their car, lost the keys to their house. You know that feeling when you're patting your your pockets, you're like, man, where is it? Where is it? I don't, I don't know how that anxiety, that little bit of like, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, that little bit of helplessness of just losing your keys. Now imagine losing everything. Imagine losing your home, your security, your stability, your pride, your self esteem. These things that we often think that are luxuries or that we should have that are taken. And it's not always what people see. The truth is that, like I stated in the video, homelessness can happen to anyone. The circumstances aren't always as ABC as what people think. It can be an unfortunate medical incident, an untimely death, just one 
decision, unintentional or not, that can lead you on a pathway and a journey to here. And that's why it's important as a community that we have that kind of compassion and empathy with one another to support each other on that journey because all it takes is that one situation. Now, not everyone has the support to just overcome these extreme situations of poverty or struggles. It takes a village and it takes a community. And there are always different creative ways to give back. Obviously, them Benjamin Franklins, they help out a lot, but there's always other ways. If you know how to bake, a bake sale would be beautiful. Sometimes it's just donating time and energy to your community. And sometimes it's just having awareness and compassion for what someone else is going through in a moment of crisis. We live in a world that is very, it is what it is. And there's a little secret amongst us that I'm gonna expose that we as a society love tragedies. The Romeo and Juliet stories, the, the dramas, everyone watches the crime scene movies of, oh, how did, how did that happen? We romanticize it and we've entertained people who have even went through mental health crises in the public eye. But when will we as a society stop and say, when will we prevent these tragedies? What can we do when we can to help in these cycles? And so that's all I ask is for people to reflect on that idea of what can we do when we can? Because that's all that we can do ultimately, right? So in conclusion, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's been involved in leading families home to any capacity. Ultimately, I am a songwriter and a creative, and that's what I love to do. If I could disappear and just make songs and make creative stuff for the rest of my life, that would be beautiful, but unfortunately that luxury isn't here. But you are all the ones that are waking up every day and being engaged with the community and showing that love and compassion on the front lines. And to everyone who's directly in line and working with Leading Families Home and supporting the movement, I would just like to take a moment for you guys to applaud the energy that is given to Leading Families Home for a moment. It does take a special kind of person to hold space for other people in crisis and struggle. Um, it takes a certain kind of empathy and compassion to get your dreams. You can do what you love and make something from it. So, in essence, I would like for you all to consider today donating to Leading Families Home. I think it's important because your donations will directly lead to the renovation of both our shelters. The Beach House Gary Shelter, it will help repave the parking lot add insulation, and update the flooring, lighting, kitchen, and the bedrooms. And for Beach House Ashland location, we're working on painting the exterior and repaving the parking lot. Our donors can also adopt a brick here for $100. There's actually a brick that you'll have to show everyone. And you, have, um, you can engrave one of these things with three lines. You can add your logo to this guy, and you can even add a special message of any form in memory of. And you can take the centerpiece home of your table for $10 as well. So how we're gonna to donate today is our pledge cards. This is gonna have an opportunity for you to include the donation amount, the payment type, and include any information if possible. And even if you're not donating today, it's important to still fill this out so you can be in line with all the information that's gonna be given through emails, through the newsletters, and through all the information about events, donation drives, and information about our participants. So if you have any questions, reach out to Daniel or Stephanie. I know you guys are out here somewhere, somewhere out there. Make sure to get in reach with y'all. And um, my name is Jelani Malik. I'm professionally known as the Nightheart. And before I leave, I just want to leave with three, three simple things that came to me earlier. And it's, there are all ways that we can be a voice for the silence, a hand for the helpless, and a light for the lost. And I think that there are simple ways we can do that every day, not even in this building, but outside of this building, to be able to contribute that. So that is my message for you today, and I appreciate all the years, all the time, and all the energy contributed. Many blessings.